welcome to Comic Guy Movie Show. And today is a very angry review. No, I'm just, I'm kidding. Angry. You're just mad because your teeth. Need Seth's gonna out. hulk out. <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freaking like a red brain's gonna crash through your roof. <laughs> but anyway. That level of anger for a PC. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Anyway. Deep breath. Let us get to the review. This we are. We apologize. By the way, this is full spoilers. By the way, I this already full put spoilers. up a non-spoiler review. It's, so. it's been out long enough. Well, in that he put out a non-spoiler. So here we go. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume Two. Uno. Wait, that's what Dos. That's Dos. You're it's right. Just <laughs> Spanish, right? <laughs> I didn't Uda take that class. Uda. That, that uh, song wasn't in the movie. All right, let's well, just get into it. Um, well, well, let me explain. Like, we we could have seen it right as it came out, but unfortunately, I was on vacation. I and, did. On air quotes around vacation. Mark did. I saw it day one. He saw it day one. I saw it before you. I know. Which is a first. I was on vacation. I know, because I couldn't get a ride. Yeah, yeah, you went to Seth went on vacation. So that's why we couldn't see it. That's why we couldn't see it uh, day one. So we do apologize. We are sorry. I saw it nice. Sorry. Sorry. But um, <laughs> anyway. Sorry. So let's just get into the review. Um, this is full spoilers, by the way, but this is a review style a review style spoiler. Did so you here we go. see that Ego the Living Planet? Planet. That, that was, awesome. was such a cool, cool effect. I was like, I was nerding out a little bit in my mind. I was like. That's Ego! I love the face. Yeah, I love that they did the face. face. I like how they did it, though, because the face was always on the planet. They just never showed it. Like, you Until could the see end. the holes. It's shaped yeah, you could see the holes in the planet when, like, when they first go to the um, Ego. But it didn't light up until But it didn't later. light up until later. You're like, oh, the face was always By the way, there. Ego's a douche. Oh, he's a fucking ass. Yes. He doesn't want to be alone, so he wants to make everything into him. What an ego! I thought, ma- you know what, what? I what an that was, ego maniac! I <laughs> thought that was you know what? I thought I thought that was a cool um, plan because I thought because they could have went simple. Oh, he wants to destroy. He doesn't want to destroy everything. He just wants to make it all him. him. Like he's because he finds basically he's like humans and all these other life forms. Boring. Boring. They're gonna die. They fade away. They're whatever. They're just blips. But him, me, I'm, I'm eternal. eternal. Uh-huh. Well, not anymore. <laughs> you thought. He thought he was eternal. Until that pulsating brain was destroyed he, by Baby Groot. He started off as a brain. He started off as a big floating brain just floating in the universe. Yeah, he he, he kind of went the light Yagami thing. Like, you know, started with good intentions, then... Oh, I don't he, know. He never had good intentions. Well, no, no, he, he never had good intentions. He, never had, he didn't have bad intentions at first, he but he never quite had good, good intentions. Well, That's funny. That. He kept that sort of 80s Kurt Russell elite for every he single species he impregnated. I was so heartbroken when Kurt Russell turned out like, when okay, we're in spoilers territory. When he says, I did, I hurt me to put that tumor in your mother's head. I was like, Ooh. And I was like, I love Kurt Russell so much, and I just like him. I was just like, oh my God, why do I hate you right now, Kurt? <laughs> Stop making me hate you, Kurt. <laughs> I was hoping he was going to be like, I'm joking. But, no. But I, I, I love that whole thing is fucking Star-Lord went ape shit. Too bad he's a freaking immortal entity. Well, almost immortal entity. Well, he's not anymore. Not ever, anymore. Ever since e- Ego went... It, ever since Ego blew up, he's no longer a celestial anymore. No, but but it was cool that they inter- introduced a celestial being. Because they showed a little bit hints hints in the um, first Guardians of a Celestial, but they never showed you... Ego's a celestial. Small g. But he's a kind of a guy. Does this mean that he can't hold an Infinity Stone anymore? No, nope. he's just a man now. He's a man now. He, he can't breathe in space anymore either. Well, can't, I mean, he can't. Sur- well, he can't. He can't die survive that in long sp- in space. Anymore. Yeah, he can't survive that long. Cool thing too. Spoiler territory. The Watchers. That's true. We did see it with Stan, Li- Stan Lee's cameo in this. Now, thing I figured out after this movie is Marvel can use groups of Watchers, but they can't use a sp- because there's the the Watcher of Earth is named Watu. Watu. He's he's the one who watches Earth. Watu. But Fox owns him, so Marvel can only use Watchers. It's semantics and, you know, contracts and stuff, but it was still cool to see them with the big heads and everything. I was like, oh my gosh, it's the Watchers. They also had the I original was a Guardians. Delivery man. Yeah, I mean, you told me they had the 1960s Guardians. In the, there. the original 1960 Guardians that they decided not to go to go with. It's funny because the original Guardians supposed to be them, but they, but like, I think the um, Feige and them were like, okay, it's a little too weird, but. Yes, let's go with the talking raccoon and talking tree. That's that's less weird. I just <laughs> forgot about something that I just remember. By the way, Miley Cyrus voiced that little robot. Are you serious? Who was on the ground was like, let's go! In the post credit scene, he was talking. Miley Cyrus voiced that robot. The, the, the scene. Want some batteries? <laughs> Alright, let's just get into the meat of the story. Stole it. Let's get into the meat. Uh, the story is is that Arcade. is that um <laughs> is that the Guardians start off saving a planet. They start off saving a planet. Uh, unfortunately, ro- Rocket being Rocket just. You rock it, being rocket. You, you know, I mean, a professional dish, <laughs> professional, professional douchebag. It's like, are you a professional you dick? Or are you just good? 
So he oh, pissed off uh, the golden people. I can't remember what they're called. The golden Sovereign. people. Sovereigns. Whatever. The golden people. He pissed them off, and apparently if you piss them off, they they have an eternal grudge against someone who pissed them off. Well, he said it from the jump. He said, don't do anything around these people. Like, the moment before they even went in there, he was like, don't do this, don't but do that. But Rocket being a moron, you know, being... Because I, I honestly think Rocket's kind of an idiot in, in that sense. Oh, oh I, was my, I thought he was using my right he eye. He acted impulsively. Why would I use my right eye? So he acted impulsively. He didn't even think about it. He's just like. By the way, oh, my favorite, my favorite little thing, Adam Warlock. Uh, but in the end, when that she that said Adam, 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 Adam I knew Warlock. she was gonna say Adam because like, when the girl's like, "It's a, is this a new, um, stasis bot?" I was like, "It's a cocoon, isn't it? It's Adam. It's Adam. It's Say Adam. Adam. It's Adam. So I think I'll call him Adam. Adam. I'm like, he is not gonna be in Infinity War. Really? Nope. So Adam Warlock is confirmed. That was my favorite part. <laughs> I would say, well, I mean, but anyway, the Guardians like, save the planet of the so sovereign world, and then Rocket steals some batteries. Fuck, oh, you know, man. insult, you know, insults the sovereign because he's a more, kind of a idiot, kind of an idiot. Rocket's and just a snap. He's a pit bull, man. He does not. There is little shits to give by Rocket. That's why I love him. He has no shits to give I to anyone. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't care. He can be tied to a chair being threatened and murdered. Still I, talking shit. I, I mean, I think we all found it hilarious the, how they pilot their ships in arcade. Do you laughed at that? That was pretty when funny. When you start hearing the noise, it's you're like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, yeah. okay. They're all behind him. You can do it. You can oh, do yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that was funny, too. They say he loses. You suck. <laughs> That's typical, ain't it? Pretty typical. Much. That's typical. No, that is typical arcade crap. <laughs> yes, I know like, how that you, is. You friend. got it. Everyone's surrounding you. You lose. Man, I guess he's not I that play, good. I remember I was playing this racing game one time, and I got so far, and there was like, I think, no, there was five guys behind me, right? And they're all like, you're so close to the end. And I hit a mine, and I blew up, and they're like, ah, you suck. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 Set, what? Set that same <laughs> no, it was like, I know how that feels. I'm like, oh, I was there Spiritual once. Was such I was there once. But uh, <laughs> anyway, so they meet Ego, played by Kurt Russell. Oh, yeah, little miniature man. Uh, I mean, he might have been bigger. I don't know. And he's tall. I don't know. Turns out Ego's pretty powerful, even in human form. Pretty powerful. Because he wiped out that entire fleet by himself. Just flying on top. Hey, guys! <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, Ego is obviously Star-Lord's dad. We already knew that from the jump, so... Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, basically, well, the, I'm not going to say let's get into the characters, because we already know the characters. Early in the movie. Hmm? I'm surprised they showed it that early in the movie. Well, they did because... Like, like to like, build them up. Well, no, and they showed it in the trailer, which a lot of people were like, okay, they only showed it in the trailer because it's not... They didn't want to do a Star Wars, okay? They didn't want to be like, oh, I'm, I'm your wait father. To I'm your father. Yeah. No, Marvel was like, we're going to do it right up the top. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not going to say let's get into the characters. So imagine, we already know the characters. So, but imagine if Empire Strikes Back started with the I'm your father thing. Oh, wait a minute. I just remembered something. Remember that they were fighting over the controls of the ship trying to avoid the fleet? No. Oh yeah, yeah. When Rock is being a dick again, Rock is being a dick, and Star Wars like, oh, I'll take it. No, I got How has he no not gotten killed yet? Like, it's Who? Rocket? Rocket. How is he not? Rocket. Did you not see? Wait, no. How did he not get? He created. Did you not see all that shitty minefield and all that crap that he put down? Cool. He's a technological genius. He created a nuclear warhead Still. out of random crap. Oh, and he's, and he's got a group. <laughs> yeah, he's got an attitude problem and an impulse, but he, but he's a genius. He's a strategist, obviously. He took I, don't down basically I still half don't see how he's not dead by, yet, by somehow, some way, shape, and form. But whatever. So you just didn't hear any of the whole strategies and technological genius and part that I just said there? No one's that you just lucky. No one's it. that lucky. I don't, <laughs> care. I don't care how smart you are. <laughs> you say that because you're so unlucky. <laughs> you're just angry right now, and you're putting it on Rocket. Uh, he's an idiot. But I mean, they, after, kind of an idiot. After that, they land on they land on the they land on the that weird Eos, planet, whatever. Ego's planet. But yeah, and well, then, they land on that one world. Then they go to Ego's planet. But then they automatically have suspicion something was wrong. Who big shocker there? You must be so embarrassed. What you mean with that scene from the movie? That funny. <laughs> it, it, it's it. funny there too. <laughs> me, do me, do me, do me. And I was so sad though when um when um another emotional moment when um God damn it. Drax talking about his, um, his daughter and stuff, and like she Amantis touches him, and she just started crying. But I was like, he's handling it pretty well because he's just smiling. I mean, he's just—I feel like he's finally at peace with it, but it's still was, in there. It's I think still he was hurts. at peace in the first movie. At the end, because he said it, he's like, all that rage and stuff was just to cover my loss, man. I lost, lost it all. So, all right, well, let's mm -hmm. talk about Kurt Russell real quick, the villain. He's best villain, Mar one of the best villains Marvel's had so far. Yep. Hot hands down. Um, he was, the third one. He was so manipulative too. When he used that song, Brandy, 
because it was his because was because it was his mother's favorite song. So he's basically manipulating him by pulling those heartstrings that about his mom to get with him to get him to do what he wanted to do. I was like, that's an that's a, that's something that you don't want to think your father would do to you. Point that out. He, he knew it was a fuckboy. Well, he banged a lot of species. <laughs> he banged, he banged a, lot a, lot. Of, a lot of species. Some of them were just blobs. And he <laughs> that was killed cool. all he his fuck kids. Fuck he, fuck he murdered them all. He murdered all his kids <laughs> because they didn't inherit the gene. So it's like, yeah, but but Star-Lord did. So. There's no yeah, use for murdering you. Murdering the fuckboy. But like I said, you know, what I, you know what? I couldn't quite hate him, hate him, because I'm like, think of it from his perspective. He's a being who's been around for millions of years. Death is just like... Death is nothing to him. It's just like, what? Huh? You died? Basically. Cool. Yeah, man. Well, you didn't have my genes. If you had my genes, you'd still be here. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, it's much. really not nothing to him he being was, that powerful he was being. Good. Like, he, I, he made you hate him for sure. I was, I, I, yeah. I was a little sad that he died because it was like, it's Eagle Living Planet. I would love to see that effect again. And then kind of, unless they have Alter Ego. You know where they can go unless next, they have Alter Ego. <laughs> Alter, Alter, Alter Ego. His brother's name is Alter Ego. Is he a good guy? No. No. Uh, no. Uh, no, no, no worse no, than they're, he both, is. they're both pricks. But I was hoping for the I was okay. hoping for like an alternate thing here. In the comics, Ego is a prick. He's just not like actively trying to murder people. His yeah. brother though. Alter Ego? So basically Woo. this ego is more like Alter Ego. Yeah, he's more like Alter Ego than but the still. Maybe well, you know, well, like you know, in my opinion, ego. if they could do Ego, they could do Modoc. Oh yes, they can. They can now do Modoc. Modoc is so weird looking, man. That big head and the tiny, tiny legs arms. and arms. Modok is so oh, weird. The, the dude in the chair? Yeah, yeah the little dude. chair with the, the head of They can't do that. They can't do that. <laughs> they could. Really, Mark? If they could You're pull the off... same guy who wants them to Hollywood do a done the Dragon Ball Z movie and they can't pull off Modok. Not a single person in Dragon Ball who looks like that. They look w- pretty weird, though. By the way, do you know what Modok stands for? Hmm. I forgot. <laughs> Something or. Do you know? No, it's, um, it's, um,. Something organism designed for only killing. I just Ow. don't know what the M part means. <laughs> he's harmless looking. Oh, no. no he's not. He know, is I, a dangerous. I, I know he's dangerous. He's a, he he's a prick, harmless. too. He's, oh, he has a sad story. But anyway, he, back to Guardian. He's also the head of AIM. That's what he looks like. AIM is in Marvel. It's canon. AIM is in there. He is technically the head of AIM. But anyways. But, um. All right. So. Let's just. You know what? No. This is the only character that we should talk about is Yondu. Yandu had a totally um, interesting and um, complete. Well, because his own story arc in and of itself. His own story arc in of itself, and it was kind of interesting to see, like, because he was just basically kicked out of the um, Ravengers. But by it, the way, we it, discovered that there's 99 fra- um, factions, factions of, of Ravengers. Ravengers. Steven, Steve Seagal. Oh, Seagal, Bleh. What's his name? Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone. Like Steve Seagal. I, have I don't no know. Idea. I fucking like Steve Seagal. Steve Seagal's in this movie, obviously. But no, no. Sylvester Stallone. No. Yeah, for Sylvester Stallone, he's the founder he of them all. Hell he's away. the head of them all. He, he's. The, I do love that line he dropped on that um one chick who was running the bar. He was like, you know what? There's 99 fractions of um Ravagers. You just lost. 99. No, he was like, there's 100 factions of Ravagers. You just lost, lost 99. 99 of them. I was like, damn. Because yeah, just because Yondu was there. Just because he was there, and because for apparently Yondu's rule that he broke was dealing with kids. Kids. Cause that was like one of their old. That's one of the few rules they have. You he don't brought, deal in kids. He brought all the other kids there. And yeah, he, and then he realized what they were being used for. He didn't know at the time, but once he did, but he still, Peter after that. it still was his, it still was his fault. And obviously, um, Stallone's character didn't forgive him for that. And and not until the end, not until he finally got, he got not until after he's funeral. dead, not until after his death. Which was arguably probably one of the most saddest Marvel deaths ever. It was definitely, you know what? I got a little emotional when when the um when they start playing this because it was a song. I went to look it up after we left called Father and Son. They were playing in the end, and that was such a good song. I was like, that song is so good. Going with this, man. <laughs> they gave him a zoom. <laughs> a zoom. That's, oh, what, yeah. that's what everyone's listening to today. Oh, they have one. You have that's a zoom? Li- it was my brother's. I think I have it in here. Jesus, if you have a zoom, how long? I was wondering too, Seth. Do you know when a Zoom was on? When did the Zoom come out? Two, 2000, Early two thousands, I believe. Two thousand four, like. 2005. 2005? Yeah, that's the funny part. It's like, this is the latest thing the kids are listening to today. How many songs does it have? 300 and Star Lord shat himself, basically? Well, I mean, back in, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is meant to be back in the day. Like, I guess they just don't visit Earth very they, often. They, no, well, you, well, I mean, well, we know why he doesn't go back to uh, Earth. Well, it reminds us too much of his mom. Not the Zoom, but this brings up memories. Shit, he probably wouldn't know what that looks like. Well, not that one. He wouldn't know what that game is. Well, he looked on, like man. what the old Game Boy would look like. Can't find it, can't find it. I was just looking because I do have a Zoom somewhere. Well, he's got a zoom too. Like, all right, all right, all right. My brother's um, zoom. Yeah, Yandu's death. I'm sure to most people is pretty shocking, but I, to me, I kind of called it. I was kind of like, you know what? I think Yandu's gonna die, and, and when he did, I was like, well, okay. He pulls things no one else even thinks about. 
Most most of the time, no, they're right. Like I said, I've not. You know what? I, me and you have talked about this before. I never like on the on the on the subject of um seeing things and calling it out. I don't have a problem with anything if I like like if I if even if I see it coming if it's ex, as long as it's executed Which properly. If it's executed properly and it's not like this huge like because like sometimes you don't have to. And he did what he need, he did what he needed to do in the movie. He served his purpose. He helped Star Lord realize what he needed to realize and move past it. I'm curious what he's gonna do. What's what um what's the third movie gonna be about? Because you know they're making a Guardians of the Galaxy three. Because everyone's done moved past their mental, whatever <laughs> the problems they have, they've moved past it. So the third one's just gonna be about them doing something. Probably save the galaxy. Probably Again, gonna, probably so. No, I don't know. Cause no, more like running well, from Adam Warlock now. Oh yeah, because Adam Warlock is gonna Adam be, Warlock's I confirmed. He was a good guy. He's no. In the comics, he's he was created to kill the good guys, but then he realized. Fuck that! Why am I trying to kill them? I should be helping them. And then he turned. Basically, he did a um, vision. Oh, okay. Kind of pulled a vision. Vision was created to kill all the good guys. And that realized and, it well, that and this, so. like Adam Warlock's one of the very, very, well, they, very they, few they people that can use the Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, yeah. Adam Warlock's one of the few people who can actually use the Infinity Gauntlet. Not to mention, he is one of the. He's the only person who can really. He can hold his own with Thanos in a fight, That's which what is I saying something. Well, I heard he. I heard he fights Thanos. Well, in this movie, it was reversed. Remember what you told me that like yeah. instead of. You know the high priestess making Adam in the comics. It was the other way around. It was Adam around. making well, her. Well, she well he was made. She was made to be his. It was a Frank. It was on Bride of Frankenstein thing. Yeah. She was made to be his perfect mate because you know he's more in the comics. Yeah, in the comics it was. They pretty much Marvel pretty much just did the Bride of Frankenstein, but with comic book characters basically because she was created for him. But in the movie, it's it's reversed. In the movies, it's reversed. Speaking of so um, speaking of comic book relationships, I love the stuff with Nebula when she's talking about Thanos. I remember you like when, every time she lost a fight. She took. He took my. I remember she was talking about. She took my arm. He took my eye. He took my brain out of my skull. Like every time I lost a fight, it was brutal. he took something from me, and I'm just like, damn, Thanos. Dad. Yeah, and then she's like, I'm gonna kill Thanos. I'm like, yeah, good luck with that, by the way, you but dumb look, bitch. I agree with you, but I couldn't put myself in her head. She didn't even kill her. She's like, I win. Well, because she just wanted to win. That's all. I was like that is she just so kept childish. losing to her. Like, when you kept losing, like she can't. Cause like. You gotta imagine the shit she's been through. She's probably just still stuck in that it's childish like, mind, it's, man, it's, it's mindset. Like, it's like it's like a serious thing, but with childish intent. Hey, man, go with Thanos. You want he's actually not gonna be normal. Imagine it's it's weird even saying that a childish thing, like a serious thing with childish intent. Too bad Thanos is probably at this moment probably Getting head ready. heading to Earth <laughs> with his Black Order, <laughs> ready to take the freaking stone out of Vision's skull. But it's gonna be epic. I'm, I'm just waiting for him just to rip it right out of his skull. The movies where Jarvis is basically Vision. Whoa, Jarvis? No, no, that is totally a movie thing. Jarvis has never been Vision. Vision is only in the movies. Jarvis. Yeah, only in the movies. Jarvis has never been Vision. (laughs) They only did that because Paul Bettany, the guy who voices Jarvis, they're like, we love your voice. You're you're a good actor. You've seen him in like other things, like um. He was in Knight's Tale. He was he in was Legion. In Legion. Yeah, he was in that. Like that. Actor. He also was in Priest. Yeah, he was in Priest. They liked him so much. They were like, "We want to bring you back for something." He's, he's such a good actor. He's been in some bad yeah. movies though. They were like, "We want to bring you back for something." We can't. How about Vision? He's like, "But that doesn't make okay. We're gonna just take Vision and put him in." So now Tony got that weird um lady in his head. Yeah, he's got he's that a, lady now. That Oscar, that not um, Irish lady, I think. Irish lady. He's got that Irish lady no, in his just, head. No, it's just the Gladys voice. But um. After, but aside from that, back to Guardians, that uh, poor baby Groot being abused. I ain't gonna lie, it was so sad when he was like, when he was like all crump, like when um Eagle was like piling, he was starting to cry like a baby. I was like, yeah, oh like, damn! I know. I was like, why? <laughs> that was the only time I felt bad for him. <laughs> I, I don't know bad. why. I know. I felt a little bad for him when they were pouring all that alcohol. That's true. I was. I, I felt was like, a little come bit. Come on, you guys, being a dicks, man. I felt so bad for. Him. I was happy when you murdered that dude too. Yeah, <laughs> threw him off the ledge. But like, get him. But let's say this: the most badass sequence. In the movie, Yondu murdering every Ravager on that with that freaking whistle arrow. Arrow, man. He's just. I was like, that arrow is OP as shit. And they're just man. walking slow mo. What are you going to do? You can't get away from them. <laughs> that arrow is OP as I remember as the post credit scene where that one dude tried to use it. He put the fin on his head. He tried to use it and stabbed Drax in the heart. <laughs> ah, I, just, I just love his reaction because it was like. Ah! I was like, oh, Jesus. And no, no, he just kind of like dropped it, just stepped away, and he ran. <laughs> I, laughed too hard. I laughed too hard at that. Just like, ah! Ah! <laughs> like, I was like, Drax, pull it out, man. <laughs> Come on. I think ah! it just caught him. Caught. That might be pretty deep in there, man. Still. I pull the damn thing out. 
still. That's it just caught me funny. off. It just caught me off guard. Man, we talked. Ah, just cause, like I didn't. Cause he's that. trying to use it. He wasn't doing all that bad. He was getting he was up. wobbling up a bit. He, he was, up. you know, baby steps, and all of a sudden, whoosh, and then <laughs> stab ah, crash. Ah, he was like, ah. what, what? I remember I made that joke. I was like, well, Yandu did say he uses it with his heart, not with so, his head. So now he, that's why he put it in Drax's heart. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's. All right, let's. Um, oh, wait. What like what else could we actually talk about? Really? Oh, um, Star Lord's and Gamora's relationship was pushed a little bit again well, this time around. They basically say what it is. Well, what? it's it was it was one of those things where it's like you know I mean obviously it was Unspoken. obvious from the first one. It was yeah, obvious from, from this one. one. I don't think they did a bad thing. job with it. It was just it, I knew it was coming. It's an pretty much. Thing. And at least you know something though they did like I'll give them credit for this. They didn't go like full on Han Han and make it out and like it's not it was Solo just and subtle, it was just subtle. It was subtle. It was a subtle him putting his arm around her. That was it. So I, I do give kiss, so I do give them credit for being subtle about it. You know they were. One kiss would have been. They didn't even kiss. Makes sense. So at least they were. It wasn't like I said. It wasn't a Han Solo and Leia thing. Yeah, so it wasn't, wasn't like, that quick. Yeah, it was just like, because the Han Solo and Leia thing was just like, just out of nowhere. Sword, now were, when you think back to it, it was like. It's just that swords were oh. your thing and guns were my thing, but I guess we're both doing guns now. Uh, I, I just I did not know that. Well, she ended up killing the thing with the sword, so. That was badass. Worked too. out. Drax. <laughs> Drax I've was, killed it by myself. Drax. Ah, damn it. <laughs> He's Did like... He group? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> Gosh, Drax jumping in the mouth of fucking bees. <laughs> they put how little sense that makes. All right, all right. We got to end it here. I don't think there's any more we can spoil, really, to be honest. The I'm op- trying to oh, think. The opening. What you mean, uh, Mr. Blue? You see, you see just a uh, little baby group dancing. I love how they ended it, though. I love how they ended the opening scene of Drax's back crushing the boom box. Pretty, pretty much. much. Pretty much. That was pretty. That was pretty. But, uh, I, but Oh, we forgot one thing. Angsty teenage Groot. Oh yeah, <laughs> that, was pretty, I am Groot. that was pretty funny. I am Groot. What do you mean I'm, I'm boring? boring. <laughs> no, he's like this. I'm I keep walking Groot. in here and your vines all over the place. I'm Groot. He's playing video games. You, all you want to do, I love that. All you want to do is sit in here and play your mind-numbing video games. I'm Groot. I mean, I'm boring. <laughs> You're boring. I'm Groot. Like this is how Yandu felt. It's probably how Yandu felt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway. So that's pretty uh, much we'll it. We'll all feel it one day. <laughs> I oh, hope, I hope will. not. Oh yeah, you will. And then you'll be thinking back and be like, "I'm a gamer dad." Basically. Oh, I'm a gamer dad, so I probably won't be that way. Oh uh, yeah, sure. But so are you and you? Sure. Well, I it still depends. I still believe in hard work, though. <laughs> I mean, so do I. Get out of the house, you bum! <laughs> but all right, so um, that's pretty much it. Let's just now let's give our ratings. I'll go, I'll go first since I, since I'm obviously the middleman between you guys. I gave it. I'm gonna stick by my rating that I gave it the first time. I gave it an eight point five. I think. I don't think it was as good as the first one, but but I don't think it was as good as the first one because it hit a lot of the same beats. And the first one, no one saw that first one coming. It was kind of like the John. You know what it reminds? It was kind of like the John Wick and John Wick Two thing, where John Wick One was just so like you're like, what the hell? Didn't think it was coming. And then you see John Wick Two. John Wick Two is it? really that much worse it's just you haven't seen it before and you're like it's not really doing anything new it was completely just as it was just as badass but it was like so that's what i feel about guardians right. i'm like I, I still like all the songs the, like the chainsaw my flea little comedy. mac um all the comedy i still enjoy the hell out of it i just don't think it was that though it did have a better villain than the first one oh yes which was what had made a way me, better villain which, right. which is what raised it up because i would have given it an eight but the villain alone made me give it an 8.5 i was I like you mm-hmm. made the nine uh, I don't think it's like I think this movie is in in my opinion in the Ant Man um category the Ant Man Doctor Strange department where they're very good movies I enjoyed the hell out of them but I don't I don't think it's better than the first one I don't think it's better than Winter Soldier I don't think it's better than Civil War or Avengers like there's more if I can think of five other movies that it's better they are like and in the Marvel MCU that are better than it and I can't completely give it a nine so gotcha. well I. I can't find anything I dislike with it. I like I didn't like it as much as the first one, but I did really enjoy it. So I mean, that's why I just said pain. I mean, I typically like speaking, I can see the pain in his face. Most people, most people are. Dude, you hand out tens like candy, man. I'm just I sorry. Hit a ten. Hit a ten. All right, let me. Well, all right, let me say. All right, wait, 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 wait. All are right. You, are you a DC movie? You get a five. No, I was just gonna say the difference. I'm just gonna say something. That's what makes you two. That's what makes you two interesting, in my opinion, to watch. Because you guys have these both of these separate different opinions on different spectrums of thinking. now. So. All right, I'm pretty calm, so I'm I I'm level headed. I give I give certain movies a ten. Okay, but, I didn't um, give Kong a ten. I didn't. You give a lot of movies a ten, dude. You give, hand out tens I didn't a give lot. Magnificent seven a ten. All right, yeah, let me did. let me let me give mine. I gave the first Guardians of the Galaxy a solid eight. Oh, 
It was a great movie. I thought it was funny. Here's my problem with this movie is, is that one, it wasn't as good as the first. That was a big one. I two, there's I have a weird thing with comedies. Comedies to me don't have a rewatchable value in my opinion. Because once I learn all of the jokes, it just kills the movie for me. You're an old but, man and a fool. God damn it, Mark. Stop it. Let me finish my point here. I, I introduced that to him. Freaking Conan O'Brien. I do that. I do that shit on Smite. I come down with the old, I'm Thor. I, I, created a, I created a monster. Why um, the shots were this is so funny, man. That came out. I mean, that Conan O'Brien skit came out before the first Thor came out. Take this okay, because stop. they thought it was gonna be bad. All right, stop, so anyway, stop, stop. All right, so one comedies don't have a rewatchable value in my opinion. That's why comedies, in my opinion, are a one watch movie, and that is it. Two, this movie was like I said, like it wasn't good as the first one, and three, there was just something about the movie. I can't put anything. I can't put a hand. I can't put a finger on it. I don't know what it is. But when I was watching this movie, there were parts in the movie, like Yandu's death. There were certain things in the movie where I just wasn't hit hard enough. I was sitting there, and I could tell there were some moments that should have hit me, but just didn't. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. I don't understand why. I don't know. I give this movie a 7.5. It was a, really? It is a great movie. Great movie. Great movie. Not as good as the first one. Two, it, it, it like in my opinion, I can't watch it twice except because well, not with all the comedy. Like I can watch Avengers a hundred times. I can watch Civil War a hundred times. I can watch when so I can watch Ant Man a hundred times. I can't watch this like more than once. It just ruins it for me. That's why I couldn't watch. Um, that's why I can't watch Deadpool more than once. I just couldn't do it. Like Deadpool to me just soured after the first time I saw it. Because you can't watch Deadpool more than once? I couldn't do it. I tried. I watched it a second time, and I was like, "Oh damn! I just can't do this twice. I, just, I can't watch comedies twice. I just do, I just can't do it. Uh, there's no comedy. Own, there is no comedy. No comedy. Not, it's, it's not just Deadpool. It's not just Guards. There's no comedy I can't watch more than once. It's, I just can't it, do it. With, which that's just me though. His own, man. That's what I said. Should, so it was just still a great movie. It was a great movie. I recommend anyone who hasn't seen it go out and f- see it right now. I recommend that right now. But I will agree with Sean. It's in the Ant Man category. It's in the Doctor Strange category. In my opinion, it's in the first Thor category. It's in there. I still say Doctor Strange should have won Best Effects. Yeah, it should have. Effects. But <laughs> anyway, I give this movie a solid seven point five. That's where I'm sticking. My that's where my guns are being stuck. So that is it. Right, you said cabinet. All right, let's let's wrap it up. Let's wrap let's wrap it up. All right, here we go. Thank you guys so much for joining us on Comic Game Movie Show. And please, what did you think of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 in the comment section below? We'd love to see your feedback. And thank you for joining us on the Comic Game Movie Show. And we shall see you on the next one. Goodbye. So, uh, the bigger the field, the harder you fall. Well, I'm going